You know, I've taught 6,500 6, students one-on-one -on -one through my classes through the last 25, 30 years. And one of the things coming up on this bench plane is this little set screw in the middle. People think that this lever cap, you put this in, you set the lever cap, and then you cinch this screw, this set screw, right down in the middle and keep turning and turning and turning until it's so tight you can't really move any of the adjustment anywhere else. That's why Leonard Bailey designed this. He wanted something that would still allow for us to adjust the depth with the wheel. He wanted something that would allow us to pivot the cutting iron in relation to the sole. So what he did is he came up with this counter-lever method. So what's happening, when I loose this, this bar is set against the back of the, ca of the lever cap. Watch this, when I press this, it opens up that distance, and this is pressing against the back of the cap iron, and that's what we want. Now, you might know the cap iron as a chip breaker. That's an erroneous name, but people use it, and I don't mind. But this then presses on there. So what we do with this little set screw here, watch this, I'll slacken this off, if I put this in now, this is just flopping around, but it's not tight, it comes loose. So what I have to do is I loosen this and I turn this set screw. You can do it with your fingers, but you'll probably see more if I do it with the screwdriver. And then you tweak this. Now there's no pressure on it, so I go back in with the screwdriver and I turn this. While this lever on the top is out of pressure, out of contention, I pull again with the lever and I can just feel it starting to bite. I'm turning it another quarter turn. Now I can definitely feel it, but it's not enough. Another quarter turn. Now can you see this is now applying pressure to the lever, to the uh, back of the cap iron. Press that, it's still not enough. It's not enough to give enough pressure on the assembly to stop it from shifting when I'm using it. Here again, listen. There, do you hear that lockdown? That's what I'm looking for. I believe that's exactly where it needs to be. So I want to see it clicked and I lock it. It's perfect, that's a perfect setting because this now gives me exactly the right pressure right at the fore edge of the lever cap and, and then against the back of the plane, the plane iron assembly at the top here. This still allows me to tweak the adjustment of the plane and it still allows me my depth adjustment, wherever I want it to go. So it still allows, facilitates all of that. So I'm good to go. That's what this is for. This is not to cinch it down. It just allows for adjustability.